Hi and welcome to Creative Pizzazz. This is Leslie. Today I'm going to show you a project I made using Wild Orchid Crafts project, uh, products. Uh, this first piece is a photo holder and you could put the folder, the photo in the top. Uh, if I can get this to sit in there. There we go. And your photo would sit like that. And what it is, is a file clip. And I've made these before and shown them, but the video was deleted by YouTube. And so I wanted to go ahead and, and show you that again. Uh, plus, this is just a project that's just always a great project to make. It's super simple, super quick, fast and easy, but it's very, very effective at getting, you know, a great result. So you take one of the file clips, just the gator clips that have these uh, prong legs, and you're going to cut a piece of, you can use plain cardstock. I used a little bit of the, this is from the, I had to look at the piece of paper. Uh, this is from the Die Cuts with a View or the DCWV stack called Mariposa. And it's a piece of that paper. You can't see the, the design on the pattern paper, I don't think. Well, there you can a little bit. Uh, and I cut a piece of that. I ink the edges with uh, walnut ink. The way that I measure this is I take a piece of cardstock. This is just scrap cardstock, just a, a short little piece of scrap cardstock. And I will take it, I will slide it up under the edge or the lip of, of this curled part here and I will slide it just there as far as I can go. I will fold it and I will wrap it around again to the other side and then what I do is I look at where that would end. See I kind of pushed it in with my thumbnail and that's where it would end and so that's where I would measure to and that's the perfect measurement for the length. For the width, I do the same thing. I come to the other side of this scrap piece of cardstock and I mark my width. I'm, I'm not a big ruler uh, person. <laughs> I would just prefer to do something simple like that. So this gives me the length of my paper and this gives me the width of my paper. And I did that for the large one and the small one that I made. Okay, then uh, I inked all the edges and just added some sticky strip or score tape, that type of, of glue. You could even use glossy accents. However, because it's going around its cardstock weight and it's going around these uh, curved edges, something that's a more um, dry adhesive would work better. A tape type product would work better. Your ATG would even work for this because it's not going to get use uh, like a binding wood so it would be fine. I then took a piece of the Wild Orchid Crafts seam binding and this is in the cruise beige color and it looks like this. It's a cruise beige. It's, it's basically a champagne color. And I uh, went ahead and pulled in the center. I think Susie Crafter has a tutorial on how to do this <coughs> and it went ahead and gathered the seam binding for me and all I did was I picked out one of the center threads and pulled it and it gathered the seam binding for me and then I took my distressing and walnut stain and I just pounced all over it to kind of give it a little more vintage look and it's very very faint but you can tell the difference compared to the regular um, seam binding. I then took one of the small Wild Orchid Crafts roses um, and then I added some, let's see, I used, uh, this is Lindy Stamp Gang, uh, Royal Amber Fire Glitz Spritz. It's sort of a gold coloration, uh, just a shimmer is all it is, and I really like that. This was a white rose to start with, and I also 
went over it with I pounced it with my walnut distress ink and I did that and then I sprayed it with the uh, glitz spritz again and that allowed it to seep just a little bit making it a little more vintage and less white I just didn't want it white these uh, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts are great. Uh, most flowers that you get come with a little stem. The ones that you get from Prima and Recollections, they don't. But when you buy these paper flowers um, from some com companies, they come with little stems. And you can use that to your advantage and just give a little twirl. All I did was took the stem, the length of stem that I wanted, and I took a paintbrush or any other small, you can take your uh, needle tool or um, your needle nose pliers, in, anything, a skewer, barbecue skewer, anything that you could get in a spiral fashion. And there you have it. I then cut it to the length that I desired. I left a little bit of a tail on to use that as my gluing point. And then how that's how you get curly key. And so now that's a cute little photo holder. This has to be used as a photo holder in, in this orientation because it no longer functions as a gator clip or file clip. When you try to open this side, it's going to crush the flower if you actually did that. So that would not be something that you would want to do. So this definitely is just going to be a little photo holder. You could put an adage ticket there that's um, inspirational to you or even a, a to-do list, your grocery list, your wish list for your craft products, whatever, you can put that there. And it holds a pretty large piece. But because you can't use this as a file clip, I thought, well, how can I decorate one and still be able to use it as a file clip? And this is what I came up with. I took, it's a smaller size just because I wanted one that was smaller. And I took a piece of, this paper comes from the DCWV Tattered Time. And it's a gorgeous stack of paper. I just love it. And I rubbed the, I sprayed it with the Amber, let's see. I sprayed it with the Royal Amber Fire Glitz Spritz. And put that all over the outside. And I don't know that if, yes, you can see that glitz in there. This was already a foiled paper. It was, it had the gold foil on it. And so by spraying it with this golden um, uh, shimmery glitz spritz, it just really shows up well on that black paper. The wonderful thing about glitz spritz products from Lindy Stamp Gang is that it can be used uh, on white cardstock and colored cardstocks and it shows up even better on any kind of colored cardstock but it gives a wonderful sheen no matter what I then took the small rose this is the same small rose and it was white also I took it I'll show you the two in comparison this is the same rose I took it this rose in white and I added uh, this is folk art metallic pure gold paint this is acrylic paint it is metallic and when you get the metallics they have mica in them uh, they're just very heavy in mica and I wanted this as shiny gold as I possibly could get it and I took just a little lid from maybe a, a spray bottle of some sort and then I added four drops of this metallic gold paint into the lid three drops would have been fine and then I added four drops of water I just drop 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 a little bit of water and mix that up with my paintbrush and then all I did was dip in and paint the flower and it gave this there's no way that the camera can show you how glitzy and beautiful this flower is it is so gorgeous and it's just as gold and shimmery as it can be and you can take these metallic paints and create glitz spritzes well not glitz spritzes but your own homemade version of a glitz spritz uh, by just adding water in these paints 
then add a little of your reinkers to it and then you have a colored one so don't forget those metallic paints and there you have a file clip this one actually works as a file clip you can see that I can actually if I can actually open it there we go I can open it I can squeeze it I can put in my objects that I want to clip together and I can clip them so you can see how that's working now and open it again without ever damaging the flower so I can squeeze it without opening the flower and because this will be used as a file uh, clip the flower on the top is not a problem I just hadn't ever seen anybody use this um, version of decorating these little fire, file clips and I thought that was a cute idea and I, and I just wanted to tell you again to check out Wild Orchid Crafts Projects if you want to see the link it is in the description below thanks for stopping by